it's back. It's Clone Trooper Tuesday. Hi there, Star Wars collectors. Welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and welcome to Clone Trooper Tuesday. So I do have a few more clones to get through, so I thought I'd bring this series back. We do have today the Clone Trooper 5th Fleet Security from the Saga Collection. I believe he was released in 2006 and he has a number of 59 in that Saga Collection. Awesome looking figure. Based on that sculpt from the original 2005 Revenge of the Sith Phase, phase 2 Clone Trooper, uh, with just a different paint scheme, but that doesn't bother me whatsoever because this sculpt still, in my opinion, is the best sculpt for a Clone Trooper Phase 2 that we've had. Let's take a look at the packaging before we get the figure out. So now I'm not sure whether the 5th Fleet Security was actually in the film of Revenge of the Sith. Let me know in the comment section below, but it does say there at the top, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, but I can't actually remember seeing them. If we did see them, we probably saw them for a very, very brief second. But of course, I may be wrong, so do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like as always. So there's the packaging. Nice image of the character there on the side. We've got the Saga Collection logo. Obviously, Star Wars at the top. These Saga Collection packagings were pretty nice back in the day. You always got a hologram figure there, as you can see. This time it's Yoda. And again, there's a picture of the figure there. And again, the character at the top, as I say, number 59. And some of the other figures that you could get in that wave. So that's the packaging, pretty nice packaging. Not as nice as the vintage collection in my opinion, but still nice packaging all the same. Right, let's get the figure out and check him out. Okay then, so let's first of all take a look at the holographic or hologram figure that you get. This one's of Yoda, as you can see, all in red, pretty nice. Uh, just a nice little thing to get as an extra in these figures. Um, it's not really something that I'm too bothered about that they don't do these days, but it was nice back in the day. Nice little statue there. And there we go. Here is the figure itself. The Phase 2 clone armor is amazing in my opinion. I have to admit, I do prefer it to the Phase 1. I know a lot of people prefer the Phase 1 clone armor, but... Uh, Maybe I'm just a bit old school and I like the fact that this one's very close to the traditional Stormtrooper that we see in the, you know, the, in the original trilogy. But as you can see there, he's got some pretty cool markings on his armour for the Fifth Fleet uh, Security Squadron, if you like. And he's also got some battle damage and some weathering going on, which I also do like as well. You've got that on the helmet, you've got it on the torso, arms, all the way down the legs, which is pretty awesome. Always find that they miss that out on the back of the legs and completely, in fact, on this figure, there's no weathering at all on the back of the figure. Helmet doesn't remove, but that doesn't bother me at all because that means it's more in scale. You often find where the helmet is removable, it's often a little bit too big to accommodate the head underneath, obviously, and um, yeah, ruins the scale of the figure. You can see there are pretty cool knee pads and everything going on. So. Just a pretty awesome figure all in all, and it's going to go very, very nicely in my clone army, which I'm thinking about sort of maybe expanding upon. And maybe I'm just thinking about how cool it would look if you had like a whole army of these guys in a row. A lot a lot like the people do with the, the Lego minifigures, but if you had a whole load of these in a standing there all together, I think that would look pretty awesome. In terms of articulation, the figure's got everything you pretty much need, except for ball hinged hips so he's got ball hinge shoulders elbows swivel elbows swivel wrists he's obviously got loads of articulation on the head because it is on a on a giant ball there he's got ball jointed knees ankles and obviously they all swivel as well they do come on these pretty awesome stands of saga collection with the printed there and also as you can see there revenge of the sith on the stand which is pretty awesome he also does come with the antenna at the back which is pretty good that is removable so you can have him without it if you if you so choose. So there you go then guys, that is the Fifth Fleet Security Trooper, part of the Saga Collection. This has been Clone Trooper Tuesday. Hopefully I'll be back with another one next Tuesday. So thank you very much for watching as usual. Hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and we shall see you on the next video.